Ron's Nalcott is an equal opportunity high school. Every group gets its day to rule. All right, we rule most of them. But today, Science Project Judgment Day, we gladly relinquish to the nerds. Sorry, I mean the scientifically able. Remember that guy in England who just cloned one sheep? Check this out, Mrs. DeMichael. <laughs> I cloned five puppies. And uh, how did you accomplish this? Well, I carefully removed the strand of DNA, placed it in a viscous solution to germinate, and uh, accidentally left my back gate open, allowing a stray Rottweiler to have a date with my dog later. Gladys Knight had her pips. Who had the gang? I've got Eddie. A little animation fluid. study on the effects of climate on your emotions. 88 degrees Fahrenheit. Happy. 21 degrees. Snowing. Happy. A controlled 72 degrees. Again, happy. <laughs> Proving empirically that if you have money, Climate has no effect on your emotions. Thank you, and drive safely. In the animal kingdom, it is the male who uses his colorful plumage to attract the female. Our project is to test whether the reverse holds true for the human kingdom. D is wearing a drab sash from Gauthier's What Was He Thinking Grunge Collection. Our attraction meter reads a pitiful two. Dee will now remove the sack. Our attraction meter soars to an eight. An eight? An eleven! My is proved. Now get him out of here. He disgusts me. As Discovery Channel worthy as we are, we're merely an opening act for the Science Club headliners. That's Marshall Gassner. His obsession with me borders on my own with Brad Pitt. Looking at it that way, maybe I should seek counseling. Anyway, every year, Marshall comes in second. My project explores induced oxide formation of thin film crystallites expressing fabulary for oak fringes. I have no idea what he's droning on about. But no way will he ever take the first place science fair crown away from my hero, girl genius, Felice Lesser. Never. Her mind is easily a zillion gigabytes. She's won every science fair since her breakthrough brine shrimp steroid study in the third grade. This is the reason I teach. Felice, make me proud. Felice, you observed gum. Uh-huh. Plus, I chewed it. Stubba Bubba lasts the longest. <laughs> she is literally the Polaroid of perfection. She has everything and she'll give it to you in a second. Looks can deceive. She wears her heart. Just for one day, 
The science fair turned out to be a festival of shocks. And I'm not just talking Don Mason's unfortunate frog reanimation project. Science fair goddess Felice came in dead last. Well, someone more famous for his hats than his mind came in third. Ah, this is just the beginning. Many body parts can use my hydraulic touch. You're starting with the hydraulic neck to hold up that helium head you're getting over this. What's this, trophy envy, Murray? <laughs> Me jealous of that limp-wristed, mutated mitten? Same to you, Eddie. Do I have dish? Or should I say, Petri dish? I just walked by La Table du Nerds, and are they in a tizzy? Drool everywhere. Were they talking about me? No, Dr. Frankenfinger. They were stressing over Duchess of Dork, Felice Lesser, getting shut out of the science fair winner's circle. Or, as I see it, the <laughs> loser's circle. Did Felice debrief about the lame gum project? Oh, Felice loser wasn't there. I left without asking why, because the B.O. was muy oppressive. I bet Felice feels no need to compete at this level when she is so close to Nobelling. Cher? I know you idolize Felice's smarts, but it's obvious the girl has checked out of Hotel Brainy. Well, I'm withholding judgment until science class, where I have faith that she'll prove her sad project was simply a grotesquely misguided reaction to monotony. Like the final season of Roseanne. Which brings us to the final question. Hmm. How does one use the scientific method to test a hypothesis? I don't see anybody raising their hydraulic hand. Anybody have an answer? A guess? A piece of celebrity gossip? Oh! Demi Moore was allegedly found with Amber. The... I was kidding. All right. Felice, how do we test a hypothesis? Tell it to turn its head and cough? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Felice has checked out of Hotel Brainy, but fortunately she left forwarding a dress. Come on, Dee, the science club is like Felice's mall. She's guaranteed to be there. Maybe, but to me, the science club is like, well, the science club. Please don't make me go. Oh, please come with. I don't want to go alone. Oh, I get it. You're afraid you won't be able to control yourself around your boyfriend, Marshall. I want him so bad. Let's go. Sean, the science club solemnly welcomes your DNA into our nuclear family. Welcome, Sean. In the hallowed tradition of Galileo, Stephen Hawking, and Cher Horowitz. Oh, oh my god. Everybody look at Cher Horowitz. He doesn't even know I exist. Watch. Hi, Marshall. Cher, have I told you how much I admire the way you're styling your hair? See? Tell me my prayers have been answered and you're joining the science club. How? You said membership was restricted to top ten science fair finishers. Shut up! If she wants to join, she's in. Got it? Do you want to be president? No, no, wait. First lady. Uh, well, actually, we're just looking for Felice. You mean gum girl? Uh, that dodo head hasn't been here for weeks. The science club is mine now. I rule. No, uh, unless, of course, you want to rule. Then I'll serve. I mean, totally your call. Thanks, Marshall, but I really need to talk to Felice. But why? I, I mean, I know exponentially more about cold fusion than she does. Oh, he's so hot. I need Felice. It's, um, girl stuff. Say no more. Um, you can find Felice on the football field. What, hanging with the jocks? No way. Way? Uh, excuse me. Are we ever going to finish my initiation? Don't be a geek. We got women here. Oh. Sure, let's go. They've got Sean. We could be next. What? <laughs> Try anyway. Ew, ew, 
Ew. She is acting so Sandra Bullock. Well, if Sandra Bullock could act. <laughs> Hi, I'd love to chat, but I'm sure you're in a hurry, so bye, see ya, adios, get out of here. Felice, is something bad going on? Absolutely. I was almost making eye contact with that hunk who can't catch. Then you two show up, and now I'm invisible again. Oh, come on, Felice, this isn't you. You are way too smart for this. Yeah, why the sudden detour down Ditsy Drive? Listen, Barbie and Skipper, girls like you can't possibly know what it's like for girls like me. Come on, Felice, you're a dog. To make things worse, a very smart dog. And guys are really creeped out by that. Since I can't do much about my Bow Wow looks, I can at least hide my brains. I'd gladly trade in my early admission to MIT for an unchaperoned movie date with any one of those guys. <laughs> Felice, we really want to help you. Excellent. So leave. <laughs> Felice last night. Same here. I even dreamed I was her. Oh, really? Well, did you happen to dream the answers to a trig homework? No. I dreamed I scrubbed off my makeup, de-accessorized, went into the dark side of my closet, and put on some presents from Grandma. Not the kitty culottes and the gold butterfly calamac. And the crocheted hat. No! Pinky, swear. Then we went to Starbucks. We? As if I'd go out alone looking like that? <gasps> Flash dream interpretation. You gave us a make under. What if we reversed the process and gave Felice a make over, and then she wouldn't have to pretend she's stupid anymore? Brava. Clearly her behavior is a desperate cry for mascara. We must intervene. Yo, D, Cher. Have you guys seen Sean? Murray. We're on a mission. We do not have time for you and your lost little friend. Nice. Nobody has any time for Murray. What it's for your own good. Latte oh, makes me break now. What doesn't? This is not about lattes, Felice. This is about boys. You'll thank us later. My honesty and stuff on it. We felt like the guy who looked at a rocky cliff and envisioned the faces of four presidents. Before us sat an unformed, though highly intelligent, last night. I thought we had plans to watch the director's cut of Barbed Wire. I'm sorry. Marshall invited me over his house to check out the shower. The meteor shower. I have a very powerful telescope. 
It can see far into the galaxy. And into the girls' dorm at UCLA. <laughs> <laughs> exactly when did you become Urkel? First of all, his name is Jalil White. Mm -hmm. And I think if you gave him half a chance... You'd respect him as an artiste? Come on, Sean. Let's make like a mammalian zygote and split. Ah! You're so crazy. That's a fake laugh. He's a nerd fraud. Zygotes? He doesn't know anything about goats. Except maybe goat cheese pizza. It used to be our pizza. <laughs>
isotope to isolate. Very funny. Like you even know what that means. What do you want? Oh, I just spotted you sitting here and, well, we hadn't talked in a while. I miss you, man. I miss me. I miss us. Marshall is no Murray substitute. Gee, Mr. Wizard, how long did it take you to figure that out? Too long. Hey, I can be down with inventions and down with you, right? There you go. Now, what do you say we go get a burger, your treat? Well, I'm kind of off meat now. I did some research on E. coli. And actually, I did my own research. E. coli can't exist when the grill is properly heated. That's why we're not going to Burger World anymore. We're going to Burger City. <laughs> Damn, you're very smart, man. <laughs> yep, and I don't care who knows it. Let's travel. I've got a Burger Jones. Tell the truth. You're done hanging with that science club dude, Marshall, right? Yeah. Wearing your pants up that high can change a man. Why do you always tell me more than I need to know? Well, it's just my way. Just my way.